Hey folks, Kaj Martin here, and welcome to this week's episode of... Thank you again for all the latest folks who have subscribed. As everyone I'm sure knows, every time I get a new subscriber, an angel gets its wings. Angels need wings. This week, I want to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart. And I think, actually, folks think about it a lot. Baby animals. A lot of people are obsessed with baby animals, and I'm not ashamed to say that I'm one of them. My voice changes, a whole personality just gets all Jenna Marbles like. Brucey, if you ain't here with Bruce, then get the out the club, get the out the club. I love your coat, Brucey. It makes me so happy. I'm so happy when you have a coat. Bruce's milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours, and they're right. It's better than yours. Bruce could teach you. But you have to charge. Jesus. So? It makes sense that I should have something to say about baby animals. Americans, we love baby animals. In fact, some people get offended by dog owners who treat their puppies like humans. Or more precisely, baby humans. So, let's nip this in the bud right now. We're gonna have some real-time comparisons so we can all agree that puppies and babies shouldn't be compared. Puppies and babies are incredibly different. All I have right now is this puppy, Bruce. So, he will be playing the role of the baby and doubling as the role of the puppy. I don't have a baby, so it only makes sense. So remember, when Bruce looks like this, he's a puppy. And when Bruce looks like this, he's a human baby. Easy, right? One, you have to carry babies upstairs. Dogs walk upstairs on their own. You can do it. Come on. Slow and steady. Two, puppies, you get to take on walks. Babies, you have to push on walks. Three, babies, Go to the bathroom in diapers whenever they want. Puppies go to the bathroom everywhere whenever they want. Diaper baby. Let's go. He's pretty much gonna go to the bathroom wherever he wants. No! So upon further review, it would seem that puppies are in fact the cooler versions of babies. But in all honesty, after acting out all the things you do with a baby, but with a puppy, I almost can't tell the difference between them. Then you have the people that are so obsessed with their animal that they create a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And to these people, I say, what is so important about your animal? Uh, you keep me young, boo. Oh, he's in a bear suit? Wiley the burger wolf. Wiley Bear, Chihuahua Chihuahuas, Chihuahua Fun, Instagram, Burger Wolf, Dog Animal, Pet Puppy, Bruno the Beagle knows what's up, getting sleepy. Right. So I was talking about the amazing people that give their animals an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Facebook. My real love for these people is that they sacrifice their own time and energy just to give a voice to their pet. The dog Whisperer ain't got shit on these people, so he taught your dog to sit. These people are literally becoming one with their animal, typing up thought after thought just to reach their puppy's fan base. Whoa, talk about dedication and determination. So to those folks who say that pet owners shouldn't treat their pets like baby humans, I say mothers and fathers, you need to start treating your baby like a pet. I want a Facebook dedicated to this baby right here. What are the funny thoughts and, and constant anecdotes that it would say? Yes! That is true one ship with your baby. And I say that if pet owners have it, baby owners should have it too. And yes, I think the people that have babies should be called baby owners. Real talk. Thanks for joining Real Talk with Kaja and Bruce. Huh, Bruce? You are a baby, Brucey. Brucey, Brucey. He's just a baby. Join us next week. We come on every Tuesday, every week. And subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Huh, Bruce. Bruce is asleep. He's not waking up for me. Jenna Marbles, my hair is coming undone.